an accomplice is criminally liable for helping a principal actor commit a crime. New York v. Kaplan examines the mental state required for a conviction as an accomplice. Murray Kaplan had a cousin named Mike who ran a cocaine trafficking operation. During a police investigation, Detective Janice Grasso posed as a drug courier and made several purchases from Mike. In October of 1986, Grasso went to Mike's office to purchase cocaine. When Grasso arrived, Mike, another relative, and Kaplan were there. Mike instructed Kaplan to, quote, take care of the young lady, unquote. Kaplan retrieved a manila envelope from a file cabinet and placed it in front of Grasso. In return, Grasso handed over $15,000. Kaplan began counting the cash. Meanwhile, Grasso retrieved a plastic bag of cocaine from the manila folder, placed it in her purse, and remarked that, quote, it looks nice, unquote. The state charged Kaplan as an accomplice to the criminal sale of narcotics. Under state law, a principal actor is guilty of a drug sale if he acts with knowledge that the substance sold is a narcotic. Kaplan argued that accomplice liability for a drug sale required proof of specific intent. He claimed he was innocent unless he specifically intended to sell a narcotic and shared the criminal purpose of the principal actors. He requested a jury instruction to that effect. The court rejected Kaplan's argument and instructed the jury that accomplice liability required Kaplan to know he was selling cocaine and to intentionally aid in the sale of the cocaine. Kaplan was convicted. The appellate division affirmed. Kaplan appealed to the New York Court of Appeals.